hey what's up guys welcome to this video so in this video we're gonna quickly talk about um, the Ultra Studio Mini recorder I bought um, I bought a couple weeks ago from eBay I got a pretty good deal I got it for around like 150 Canadian which is um, 120 30 USD um, it works fantastic like really good stuff so what happened was um, I wanted to I have a friend of mine, he's pushing his um, Facebook show, so he wants to record high quality uh, Facebook lives. So I did a whole bunch of research and figured out a way how I can send the signal from my uh, mirrorless camera, which is G85 by Panasonic. So HDMI out and to into this box. So this box, what it does is it converts the HDMI signal or the SDI signal and to Thunderbolt and I'll use some other software to manipulate the whole thing anyways um, if you are watching this you probably heard of this by now um, my point of this whole video is when I got the box and it took me a while to set it up and it took me a while I had some troubleshooting things to do so it was a little bit of that frustration and I just wanted to quickly record this video for you guys just to uh, shorten your learning curve and what the problem might be, how to fix them, hopefully, and they will uh, fix your problem. You know, if you have any questions, you can comment below and I'll leave some important links um, down below. And um, so without further ado, let's get started. So first thing you want to do is that uh, when you buy this box, it doesn't come with a Thunderbolt cable, all right? If you want to send the signal to, um, to a Mac, then you have to buy this Thunderbolt. So this Thunderbolt cable cost me around 50, 60 Canadian um, from Apple Store. Uh, I'll tell you guys what the frustration was. I was at the Apple store trying to get everything work, but um, my computer just wouldn't read the signal. So I was thinking where the problem might be. Um, it took me a little while. And I have this extra two converter cables, one and so it's micro HDMI. So my, my camera, my mirrorless camera takes these two and I plug in and it's gonna send out uh, the regular HDMI. This is a regular male HDMI and another female HDMI. That means if I have a longer cable, I can extend the distance between my camera and my computer. Anyways, that's just a hookup. Uh, so once you hook up, you're gonna see the light coming from this little hole. Your computer might not be able to read it, all right? Two things. First one, you have to download a drive. So when you come to, I'll leave the link below again. When you come to blackmagicdesign.com, so what you wanna do is you wanna come to sh uh, support and you're gonna see all the products they're selling or this company makes. You wanna come to the second roll and the second one broadcast and ATM converters, right? You're gonna see the latest download. I'm a Mac user, so I'm gonna download this. So you, when you click it, it's gonna direct you uh, it's gonna open a, um, a Windows. Here you're gonna see this, they're gonna ask you for serial number, this and that, completely ignore, all right? You're gonna straight down to the bottom left, it says download only, and when you click that, it's gonna download the latest version of, um, of this software. This is the drive, all right? With this drive, you'll be able to read the signal from the box. When you, after you install it, you're gonna come to application and you wanna open the drive. So I'm going to quickly just plug into these two. I'll show you how it's like. I'll quickly plug into my Thunderbolt cable. So I just quickly connected my Thunderbolt cable. And this is the light I'm talking about. You can see this little white light. And your computer is going to read this box, all right? First troubleshooting, I felt really, really frustrated. I thought a cable was wrong. I thought a converter was wrong. So what you're gonna do is, when you actually click system preference, not all the Macs gonna do this, but some of them gonna do it. It's very frustrated. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna come to security and privacy. So right after installing and restarting your, your machine, 
you want to come to security and privacy. So what you're going to do is you're going to allow. All right. Once you click that, your machine will be able to get the signal from this box. All right. That was the biggest, biggest thing. It took me a while. All right. I was at Apple store. I was buying the cable. He gave me a sample. He said, test this first. I, I plugged in and my box just doesn't work in Apple store. It took me a 20 minutes to figure out what the hell is wrong with this thing. I thought I bought the wrong one or, you know, this doesn't work. You know what I mean? Um, so what you're going to do is simply once you click the allow and you open the drive, you'll be able to see this. All right. And once you click that, you're going to come here. All right. This, this little icon and you just make sure it's HDMI. That's if you're using HDMI, if you use SDI, that's a different story. So you want to click that and conversions, you want to click none and about just ignore it. And once you click that, you click save done. All right. Depending on what software you use, I personally use Wirecast. So this software works great um, with any Facebook live or YouTube live. Definitely check it out. I'll leave a link below. And if I click that and capture devices, you're going to be seeing this Ultra Studio Mini Recorder. So that means my machine, it gets the signal from this box. And right now, if I connect my my little uh, camera to this box, I'll be able to read the signal uh, from my camera to my laptop and I can live stream with this. All right. Depending on what software you use from here. Uh, things get a little different and um, I'll be recording probably some other videos showing you some uh, Wirecast tips and tricks as well. If you have similar issue, I'm pretty sure this might solve the problem. And the second thing, if it's still you can get it, make sure you restart your camera You turn your camera off and on and make sure the settings in your camera is good. There's always one called a TV connection or monitoring or monitor. Just make sure that one's set to auto and you will be able to trick around with the settings on your camera. I think that's pretty much it. I covered um, the little troubleshooting part and if you have any questions on so you can definitely comment below and subscribe to the channel and for some future content. 